Hello friends, today I've, bring, I've come up with another exciting game of Mikhail Tal which he has played with uh, Mark Passman in 1953 uh, in the Latvian Championship. I've chose, picked up this game, this game was listed as one of the top 10 Mikhail Tal games uh, where Mikhail Tal was playing with white and he started with e4, c5 from the black, so that's uh, that shows Sicilian defense, knight to f3, and d6 uh, where d4 from the black from the white where c takes d4 knight takes d4 here at this at this position knight to f6 first so knight to f6 because black is trying to uh, make a damp pressure on uh, e4 uh, where you are forced to play knight to c3 so this is why because black does not want white to play c4 first. I show you one sample line. Say at this position, uh, knight take, where, where knight takes d4, you play a6. That's again a knight of variation, but you are allowing allowing uh, white to play c4 at this position. And uh, when you play c4, uh, white has tried to neutralize the threat of d5. So whenever d5 is played, you have a c4 pawn available who can capture it and while white will have a better center control. So here at this position, c and knight to f6 first, uh, where, where knight to c3 and now a6. So that's again, as, as I've told you, uh, that's a, a knight of variation of the Sicilian defense. Now f4 has been played so f4 clearly indicates that Mikhail Tal is making opening up lines from the king side and is trying to attack on the king side of the of the black's king side so at this position e5 was played and knight to f3 uh, so friends i show i want to show you one more thing so usually at this position if you are as most novice players who are begin who are meant begin at the beginning of the chess career will try to capture this f takes e5 because it's a threat on the onto the on the king and now and as a result d takes f5 now you have an attack onto onto the knight so you try you will save the knight say knight to f3 but now black will exchange queens uh, queen to takes d1 and when king takes d1 uh, the king will be in the center forever and now you'll be chasing the game you will not be able to attack onto the game so learn from the grandmasters whenever you have a, pos uh, have a situation like this do not rush to take this better take better better wait and save your uh, save the piece so knight f3 here at this position um, can you take this um, say for example uh, as a black player you your fancy uh, if you go capture this e takes f4 this is again a very uh, again a mistake because now bishop to f4 comes and that comes with a tempo so in the chess game uh, if you develop any piece with the tempo so that's really really great so uh, again learn from the chess masters and after knight to f3 uh, nobody uh, goes nobody went to uh, capture the pawn at f4 instead knight to b to d7 was played so if when you play knight to b d, uh, knight b to d7 here at this position bishop to d3 from mikhail tal bishop to th d3 why because uh, see i'll show you one more thing uh, this pawn has been defended by the knight but you should expect the b5 is coming and then b4 and then when you move this knight uh, this pawn will become undefended and can be captured so that's why bishop to d3 uh, adding more defender to the pawn here bishop to e7 so preparing castle so white also castled first and then black castled and now king to h1 king to h1 why because uh, say if you do not play king to h1 and you try to develop your piece say bishop to d2 but then queen to b6 will come and it will be a check and now if you move when you move king to h1 uh, then Queen will come on and capture the b2. So why giving so, so much room to the black? King to h1 first to avoid any sort of 
checks from this line. Here at this position, uh, black played b5. So as I've been told you earlier, uh, b5 is coming and then you should expect b4 at some point as well. So a3 to, to stop b4, uh, b4. Here, queen to c7. So, uh, oops, sorry, uh, uh, queen to c7. Uh, as I told you, uh, queen will have this uh, diagonal to uh, to uh, at start. Queen has this diagonal available. So here at this position, f takes e5, and now d takes e5. So friends, can you capture this from the knight? Yes, you can capture this from the knight, but at the start of the game, you uh, should you do not want to exchange pieces because. Uh, those pieces are not a threat at the, mo at the moment, so you don't want to exchange the pieces for nothing. Uh, so here at this position, knight to h4 was played. Knight to h4 was a very interesting move. So now, now what is trying to going, what, what is going to happen is this knight is going on to f5, which will attack onto the bishop. So black played knight to c5 and now black is trying to exchange uh, the bishop. So of course uh, the white would like to keep the bishop pair uh, because it's an open game. So both parties would like to keep the bishop pair. So here at this position bishop to b g5 was played. So uh, bishop to g5 and now you're forced. So you're forced to play queen to d8 if not queen to d8 you can play uh, queen to any of those lines uh, because you need to add another defender on uh, on the knight say if you do not do this say uh, you uh, you you play another normal move say for example knight takes d3 but what happens here first uh, bishop takes f6 will come and then bishop takes f6 and now I will I will uh, sacrifice my exchange. Rook takes f6, and when you capture g takes f6, uh, the entire g uh, file is will be open for the white to play. And now you, I can capture the knight, knight, and then uh, you will have a very weak king. So of course you don't want to uh, want such things to happen. So queen to d8. So knight to f5 was played. So basically. Um, that there's an attack onto the bishop where now at this position so bishop takes f5 and would should you capture this with the pawn or should you capture this with the rook uh, of course we should not capture this with the pawn because it will block the activity of the pawn so rook takes f5 and now knight f to d7 so bishop takes e7 where queen takes e7 and now knight d5 so attacking onto the queen so queen goes to d6 and which allows Mikhail Tal to play queen to g4 so now you see the attacks are coming from all sorts right so g6 from the black uh, of course you want to uh, block uh, block the G file. Uh, you cannot capture this at the moment because uh, the this uh, pawn is pinned. Uh, so, so the rook A to F1. You usually when you are attacking with the rook, uh, you double your rook onto the same file. So that's what has been done. And now f6 was played so f6 because uh, now this pawn has been defended with uh, with the rook with the queen and as well as with the uh, knight so here at this position mikhail tal would like to open the g file so he played f h4 so now king moves to h8 now this uh, rook can be captured so rook f to f f rook 5 to f3 and now f5 so there's an attack onto the onto the pawn as well as onto the queen so what you should do uh, of course you if you capture this you will be sacrificing the knight and this is exactly what mikhail tal did so mikhail tal captured e takes f5 uh, and allowed and has sacrificed his knight 
but what is the point of the sacrifice? Say if you go sacrificing, accept the sacrifice where queen takes d5, then you again, uh, uh, you, you get another pawn. So f takes g, g6. Now, before I move from here further, I show you one sample line. What happens if you do not capture this uh, if you do not capture this uh, accept the sacrifice and say for example you move your uh, you try you capture this where g takes f5 so at this position if you uh, if black goes from this option and uh, so bishop takes f5 would would be possible but now if you capture queen takes d5 but then bishop takes h7 is also possible where now, and if you uh, capture this king takes h7 then uh, the game would be over very very quickly so what happens i show you queen so queen h5 check uh, so um, the only place to move uh, the king is king to uh, h5 uh, king to g8 and then rook to g3 it's a checkmate so uh, you cannot capture the bishop uh, so bishop at this position so uh, say what else do you play you can play say for example uh, queen to c4 uh, but then bishop to f5 and then you try, try to exchange queens here at this position and the game continues uh, where a uh, rook a um, but here but none of those things happens in the game in the game uh, Mikhail Dahl has sec uh, the black has accepted uh, the sacrifice. Queen takes d5 and then f takes g6. But at this position, uh, bishop has taken f3. But before uh, capturing the, uh, the the rook has captured sorry the rook has captured the uh, the uh, the rook. Uh, but before capturing the rook uh, and accepting the exchange, Mikhail Tal played an intermediary move where g7 check was played. And now uh, king to g8. And now even Mikhail Tal has sacrificed another piece. So he's played bishop to h7 check. And now, of course, you cannot move uh, the, the, the king on to the f file because uh, Rook takes f3 is coming, so you are forced to capture the king takes h7. Now rook takes h f3. So here at this position, um, the what what are the different threats? One one of the threat is uh, g5 and then uh, uh, I'm sorry h5 and then g3. Uh, but uh, queen is also being uh, the pawn is also going to be promoted to the queen, so that also needs to be stopped. Although there is a rook uh, defending the the eighth rank. So here at this position, knight to e uh, sorry knight to e4 was played. Oops, sorry, knight to e4 was played. So why knight to e4? Because uh, first of all, uh, there are a couple of threats. Um, so black is also trying to uh, join the attack. But at this position, uh, Mikhail Tal played h5. So Mikhail Tal wants to. Uh, so now g6, g6 is also coming, and that would be very very costly. So knight d2. Uh, Knight d to f6 was played, and now g uh, queen to g6 check. King moves to g8 again, and now h6. So at this position, rook a rook to a7 was played, and now king to h2. Why king to h2? Because uh, uh, the thing is. Uh, Mikhail Tal, if you don't play rook to h2 and uh, Mikhail Tal also wants to move the rook to h3 uh, because he wants to uh, advance the knight, uh, the pawn at h7 and now knight uh, f2 is possible uh, which will uh, which will be a fork onto the king and then you will lose the rook so to avoid all of this uh, king to h2 was played now rook to e7 and now rook to h3 uh, so now um, pawn push is being and uh, has been on the cards 
so here at this position knight to h7 was played so basically you are preventing the pawn push at uh, at the h7 here rook to d3 uh, so you are attacking onto the queen so queen move to a8 um, this is because uh, a rook to d8 would be very devastating um, so here at this position Mikhail Tal uh, has sacrificed his queen queen takes e4 it's not really a sacrifice because what happened is queen takes e4 and now rook takes uh, rook to d8 check where king moves to uh, king to f7 and now Mikhail Tal has uh, got his king, queen back so queen uh, g8 uh, promoted to queen and it will be a check so queen king moved to f6 and now uh, it's more formalities from this point so what happened here rook to d6 check uh, king moved to f5 and now queen to uh, queen to g6 check um, now king moved to f4 and now uh, uh, sorry sorry d3 check now king move to e3 and now rook to d8 check and here at this position queen where queen takes d3 and black has resigned from this position because of course you have all lost uh, um, the, it's just formalities from here on but that's why black has resigned so friends let me know how you uh, how you find the game uh, do uh, send me your me in, in, in the comments that uh, about like the video if you have enjoyed the game uh, that will uh, give me motivation um, I will come back with other uh, other exciting exciting games till then take care bye bye